and we're live. Hi, everybody. As if I'm cute. The cat goes. <laughs> of course. Well, at least it's not hiccups. Exactly. Uh, hello, and welcome to our gathering of would be heroes. Uh, this is a Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition campaign game full of swords, sorcery, magic, giants, dragons, and all sorts of monsters. As a warning, this is a game that can also explore some date mature themes, and while we will be specifically avoiding some topics, the game may still include body horror, gore, violence, loss of character agency, gaslighting, mind control, and many other topics. Our players have discussed consent and boundaries, and we collectively avoid situations that may be triggering. Players will always let me know if anything gets uncomfortable by using yellow and red cards in our private chat. If you, as a viewer, ever feel uncomfortable or triggered, please pause and step away. Our streams are available on YouTube after the game, and you can always come back to an episode when you feel ready. So let's introduce our cast. And I'm sort of looking at the stream, actually, for the first time. <laughs> Not really. Uh, let's go from top left then. Steve. No, don't go from top left. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. I am Steve. I am playing Malik Greybeard, the Dragonborn Barbarian, who actually has a gray beard. So does Steve. Uh, Jazz. I am Jazz. I'm playing the now Odoro, who is the human monk. The 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 mighty one. The mighty one. Yes, the title is important. Uh, Belisher. Hey there, I'm Belle Cher. I'm playing uh, Delphia, the Asimar Ranger, who doesn't know she's an Asimar yet. <laughs> well, that way, Sarah. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Sarah. I play Izamina Lasell, the cleric and probably leader, but not quite leader because the paladin's been very mean. Um, that's me. Mean. It's true, I was there. Yeah. Zev? Hi, everyone. I'm I'm Zev. Uh, I play Marcos Lasale, Tiefling Paladin. Apparently the leader, but he's not quite sure why. <laughs> uh, Definitely a meanie. No. <laughs> No, that's all I have to say on that matter. Right. No comment. <laughs> then I think it's my turn. Yep. Uh, hi, I'm Jacqueline, she, her. I am playing Dr. Rosenthal, he, him, our friendly neighborhood human wizard. Who said what? So, oh, no, I just lost my thing. There it is. After coming to the sleepy village of Orlane, our would-be heroes discovered, fought, interrogated, and rooted out the workings of a secret cult in the basement of the villagers. Having now unearthed the true location and evil of the cult, our team has been tasked by the mayor, get out of my town, to drop the <laughs> cult to its source. The first day passed uneventfully, some revelations of backgrounds and some bonding, but on the second day, things almost took a turn for the worse as our heroes encountered a yellow musk creeper and its unfortunate victims turned zombies upon their entry into the great reaching swamp known as the Rushmoors. Narrowly avoiding succumbing to the plant's charms, our heroes snatched victory from the jaws of flowery defeat and now face more dangers the further into the swamp they go. And that's where we left off. So, you are now surrounded by the, the broken apart bodies of zombified flower victims. They're oozing this yellowish pus as they sort of slowly sink into the bog. The flower oh. itself is a blackened husk. And it kind of smells uh, half of, in, in the area. It smells like, like, like rotten meat. Uh, and there's a cart. And if I remember correctly, uh, Izamina was interested in the contents of the cart. <laughs> She's still in the cart, I think. <laughs> I mean, it's, yeah, it's, I'm yeah, standing yeah, in the cart. And I am curious about what is in these boxes. In the boxes? What's in the box? What's in the box? One box has brown robes. Uh, another box, weapons. Short the brown? Swords, daggers. 
a third box has nothing but arrows. The brown robes, are they similar Ooh. to the robes yeah. that we have already encountered? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Let's take Ooh. some. Ooh. <laughs> uh, there are some sacks uh, filled with um, dry tack, hard cheeses, um, uh, breads. Um, there's a barrel full of uh, water. There's another barrel full of uh, smells like probably a cheap wine. Delphia comes back over from where she was fighting the last zombie and is everyone okay? And I take a look at the barrels and the, ooh, cheese. And I just take out the cheese and it, is it good still? Yeah. It, it, oh, then I just put that right in my backpack. Point. <laughs> Marcos turns away from uh, from where he's standing and he just kind of looks at Izumina where she's standing in the cart and, and his jaw is kind of working like walks over to stand next to the cart looks up Izumina if you have a minute could we talk um yeah sure what's up and she's mostly giving him her attention, but she's also trying to distribute. Um, she's holding up different weapons for Malik and Zanel and the doctor to see if they want them. You know how we've run into the undead several times uh, and, and and how we've routinely stumbled into dangerous situations and I'm aware that I literally spearheaded one such occasion kind of rubs the dent on his pauldron mm -hmm. would you consider it an unreasonable request uh, if for the duration of this adventure of this task we're about where we seem to have danger lurking around every corner. If you would uh, curtail your desire to run headlong towards the first person you think might need your help. Well, uh, dagger, Malik, dagger. No. Zanel, small. dagger, uh, uh, doctor. Uh, yeah, throw that. Yeah, I'll, I'll set true. it on the side of the cart. Um, I mean, look, I, I can understand your hesitance, but if people need help, they need help. And we're not- You really had know. the vaguest suspicion that a bunch of bodies lying in a bog might need your help, steamrolled your way in and Need I remind you that there at the end, you arrows? were right next arrows? to me under Anybody? the Zamina. Arrows. Yeah, un listen, under the Marcos. charm, waking yeah, up so. as the plant wrapped its roots around us. Sure. I would I would suggest that a little caution might serve all of us well. Yeah, look, I have caution, which is why I was also worried about, as you said in your first sentence there, the bodies laying in the bog right you, Do you know i can tell if they're undead without us needing to run into the middle of them and have them start getting up right oh okay but you didn't bother to do that so i, I was in the middle of checked. doing it when you started sprinting forward and and you told me and you and have by the power the to time tell if they're undead, I and I have the power to turn them and force them away from us, which, yes, if but you recall, have you ever considered maybe not Helping trusting people lying that in your the power box. will always work? 
I mean, my powers worked pretty good up till now. Short sword. And what, short sword. A, and what about you have when any they darts? don't? Darts. I'm looking for darts. Um, darts. Well, no darts. If they don't, then I mean, I guess we end up dead like the people in the bog, which is so, why maybe they should have had somebody like me with them. Or alternatively, you could do... wait an extra 60 seconds and let me let you know before you go barging in so that you do barge in already knowing what you're going to be barging into sure. as opposed to, and at this point, Marcos's voice is starting to rise as opposed to barging in and having me tell you after it's too late to do anything about it. I look yeah. at Malik and I'm like, um, should we step in? Or I'm with Izamina here. Okay. Fair. Do nope. you, I, I know you don't remember because you were knocked out unconscious, um, but there is a limit to when I can help somebody. And unfortunately it's at that 60 second mark friend so yeah i'm gonna keep rushing look and around. You keep having my back it's Does working anything us. here look like it's been here for 60 seconds as of us arriving in this swamp i've got look your back around. Ismina. thank you thank you Delphi. Sky. i really appreciate i i, I will protect you i have proven my, that I am willing to step between you and danger. I am merely asking that you set your eyes to making sure that it is not a danger you are running into when you don't need to run there. So a couple nights ago in the dungeon, when I oh, stepped in front sense. of the troll to drag you away, you would have preferred that I waited? <laughs> oh, was is that... Like, I'm just trying to make sure that we're on the same page because clearly I just keep upsetting you and not following through with whatever you want. But also, Ooh. I'm I mean, the what one I who want was is for attacked. you to be safe. Trees in the swamp, quite tall in this area. Um, although it's 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 encroaching closer to the, the you know later afternoon. There's a lot of shade. <laughs> I, I think you mean a lot of shade. I, uh, <laughs> I just sit and chill in a shaded area while they yeah. go after it. Right. Like, yeah. Marcos just stands, stares at Isamina for a minute, and his like, if his eyes could be like glowing with with frustration and anger, they Ooh. would be. But he just looks at her, takes a deep breath. I just want you to be safe. And with that, he turns around and just walks to the other side of the clearing. Stomp, stomp, stomp. I think like, you're does, quite Stomp just Isabina. walks, sits down against a tree, and just puts his head in his hand. Malik you might leans not over want to, to sit uh, in the bog. Somebody might think that you're undead. Why? Malik leans Why? over to Zanel and he's like, did the guy who rushes in all the time just give somebody else crap for rushing in. That's exactly what You're I all heard. gonna die. That's exactly what I, heard. I, I thought I was the only one. Was None of you gets about. a death pastry. <laughs> None of you gets a death pastry. <laughs> I, I want Marcos to take up cooking so he can actually make death pastries. Absolutely. <laughs> I, um, I mean, I, you'd, you'd have to drop below zero hit points to get a death pastry now. <laughs> I start lifting up the, uh, the brown robes and I'm just kind of like, while Izamina and and Marcos are 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 speaking, I'm just kind of like sizing them with the robes and like kind of not wanting to interrupt anyone, but I'm just like kind of sizing different people to different robes and I'm putting the robes in my sack. If there are large enough robes for uh, people such as Malik, um, I'll I just hope. wrap it around. Are there? Like there, there <laughs> yeah. aren't necessarily, but you could probably makeshift one. Okay. If okay. anybody yeah. has any. I'll take like two or three skilling. for Malik. And, yeah. Well, like, this is one of those design kind of perspective things. Like, the robe itself, does it like, does it kind of button up on the front type thing? Like, how does it work? Yeah, it's just a basic Does it have a hood? It's a basic robe. All right. 
nothing fan uh, a, clo a cloistered cleric sort of brown friar monastery kind of robe i'll just tie it so that the hood can go up and then yeah, yeah. it's, it's <laughs> a cape like, like a big cape it's a short cape, cape. I'm going right. to take all of the goods, like the wine, the hard tack, whatever other cheese I can find that Delphia didn't snag, and I'm just going to lay out like a little um, picnic oh, okay. up on the cart for everybody so that we can get out of the bog and just have a little bit of a short rest and eat and kind of that figure works. out where we're going to go. That works. Uh, there's food enough. It's actually fresh. So knowing the nature of cheeses and knowing the nature of the, the terrain it's in, uh, this isn't actually old. Uh, so this happened fairly recently. In fact, um, I mean, Delphine wouldn't know. Um, Malik and Zanel and the doctor wouldn't know. Isamina and uh, Marcos, give me a... a, a what would I use for that? Memory. Intelligence. Give me a straight intelligence roll. Okay. Yeah, I got this. I'm pretty sure I do not got this. <laughs> Natural 20. I definitely <laughs> do not got this, but I'm just going to sit back and count slowly to 60 just loud enough for Marcos to hear and be like she just doesn't let this go does she <laughs> I love Marcos it. is going to diligently pay no attention to the steady one two oh. three so you're all up on the you're all up on the on the cart and it's large enough that all six of you can actually sit on it and and Marcos as as a, a trained uh, combatant as a trained warrior and and, uh, and a, a sword for hire, you you've kind of gotten accustomed to doing things almost habitually in a way. You know, you clean your weapons at a certain point, you clean them a certain way, you sharpen them a certain way. You kind of you know to sit. You you like to sit in certain spots when you're traveling as well. So you're sitting in the cor like like at the corner of the of the cart, and you're like, yeah, this is sort of like this is where I you know you sit and everything. And then you're like, hey, wait a minute that the bench across the way sort of thing. You remember there's a notch and, and sometimes when the wood doesn't hold together completely or you've got like a board and stuff and it's not quite uh, completely squared. Uh, it always has a little uh, little notch in it. It's like, hey, yeah, there's that, there's a notch there. I've seen that. And then there's a knot hole that was poked that was sort of missing. Um, and you, you've you been in this cart before. Caravan. This is one of the caravan carts. 32, 33. How do you know this? We would be heroes, attack our enemies, not just with swords and balls. We attack them with passive aggression. Mm hmm. There. See, Zanel, come here. I think she should be a bard. <laughs> see, <laughs> see the there. Words thing? Uh, and Marcos points out, see, right there, right mm -hmm. where the, the driver's. You see yeah. that divot? Yeah. And that knock right there? That one? I've ridden in this wagon. I, I, I always sit kind of here because I get a good look. I can see pretty much everything around. I know, I, I know this wagon. So how many wagons did y'all come with? Three. Do any of the bloated bodies look familiar? I'll go check and grab a hunk of cheese and shield on my back, spear in my left hand, eating cheese. Gonna go and inspect some of the more intact zombies. I mean, okay. I'll go with him just in case Ooh. something happens. Use a stick. I was gonna I'm use the butt of my spear to roll them over. Sure. Uh, perception. Nope, that's a three. Ooh. <laughs> you wander over and you're sort over. of paying attention to the cheese and you're paying attention to your footing and stuff. And you're like, oh, yeah, okay. And you kind of like half try to nudge it over. But it, it sort of like does that weird, it's floating in just enough water that it sort of like rolls a little and then it sort of blops back. 
Marcos, just roll it over, man. What are you doing? What are you doing, Marcos? You can't get purchase underneath it. I don't think these are. Turns around, still eating the cheese. I don't think these are, are from the caravan. Are you sure? Pretty sure these are just cultists. Or. Can well, I think go about it. Over and investigate the black husk of the flower. Okay. What are you I don't know for? what I want to do. I, I don't know. I'm just trying to determine uh, maybe how it came to be where it is. If it's if it's it just sprung up naturally, or I don't know. I don't know <laughs> any foul play, <laughs> any unnaturalness. Um, I don't know. No, it's it's uh, you can uh, you you can peel it up. There's a root system. Um, I mean, some of the roots look like they'd still be viable, sort of thing, even though the plant itself has been charred. But the root system Does it is look quite. Like it's been there for a while. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's it's okay. been here quite a while. Okay. Yeah, that's all. Thank you. <laughs> it's not quite pot bound in the, in the sense in the little divot that it's on, but it's uh, its roots go deep. It's it's been here a while. What is our plan? We're just going to keep moving forward. As far as I know. Cool. Uh, Look out for more flowers like this. It seems like this one's been around for a while, so there might be others like it. Maybe avoid all flowers. In fact, if it's pretty, maybe a little dangerous. There's a lot of ugly things that are dangerous as well. Maybe the nicest thing you've ever said to me. I. Ooh. Mark Marcos just looks at her and his face he's been like very stoic a lot of the time he just looks like she just bonked him over the head with a with the shaft of his own spear and he's just like Ugh. what just throws his hands so I'm like I, I can't Grabs grabs himself by his horns in kind of like a frustrated tugging motion, turns around and walks away. His horns are in the way; he can't grab his like his head, so he has to grab his. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where are you going? Uh... We were continuing south and east. Right. right, south and east. Yeah. Let's go. Let's kill a god. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish eating my cheese first. You can eat as you walk. How I can't really enjoy. I'm getting away from this conversation. When I'm walking too, you know. Maybe something will attack me, and I can get away from this. And Marcus just trails off in mutters that are going from common to celestial to infernal to common to infernal. Like he's he's switching between a lot of languages, and it mostly sounds frustrated. Did we get our short rest? Yes. Can okay. Yes. Roll back some hit dice if you like. Yes. I am a bit injured, all right? Anybody who has, you know, spell slots that come back at a short rest? <laughs> all of, none of you? Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Oh, yeah. waste <laughs> of like, dice. Seems like you need to change your dice. Oh, would you look at that? Cirque's fault. He just changed my dice to being ugly. <laughs> he always comes in clutch with his rolls. Uh... So you continue so, on. I believe so. Yeah, I think we'll continue on until nightfall. Yep. Yeah. Was there any meat in that food? <laughs> Dried meat. Excellent. Salted yeah. pork, that sort of thing. It's coming with us. I mean, it's quite salty. That's fine. Because it's meant to be cured, sort of thing. Um, but it's it's part of the it's part of the hard tack, the jerky. Yeah. So as you continue on, uh, um, 
How fast do you go? Walking. Not in a hurry. Okay. It's going to take a bit longer then because this is technically starting to become uh, difficult terrain. But if we push harder, difficult terrain will also possibly become more tired. So true. I mean, you're going to get tired anyway. But. At if as long as he's at the head of the 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 group, if only by dint of having walked off in a frustrated grouchiness. Mm -hmm. uh, Marcos is going to set st stiff, but not he's not running. Okay. It's like it's a stiff hiking pace, basically. That's fair. Um, Marcos is power walking through the marsh. Sploosh, sploosh, sploosh. Uh, are you uh, keeping an eye out on for anything in particular? Uh, is anyone keeping an eye out for anything in particular? Marcos is looking for for anything that looks like a flower, uh, like a large flower, and uh, bodies. Uh, common plants or herbs that can be eaten. <laughs> All right. Um, Strange Marcos, shapes to either side of us. Yeah. Marcos perception. Um, yeah, everybody. Whoever, if you're looking for and what you're looking for, uh, roll a perception check. That's a 19. That's uh, an 18. All right. You don't see any bodies. And you don't see any very large, uh, obviously dangerous flowers. Okay. <laughs> that is a natural one for a three. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 12. We so you got meat, so. so and the water's doctor, really neat when it ripples around your ankles. Doctor, we've talked a little bit about where my magic comes from. Um, where where did you learn yours? Uh, well, you see, that's the anomaly, is it not? I'm human, no magical background. Uh, read some books, and now I can cast spells. Where's the connection? Where's the where's the beginning? Where does it come from? That's the question that I'm always trying to seek. Where is it well, coming from? We had humans in our village. Some humans can can master the arcane and you sure, know, but how? Because they can, I guess. I don't know. Like everybody has to learn how to control it. That's control that's pretty it. But standard. how do we how do we know where it is? How do we know it, where it's coming from? It just is. Some people have it, some people don't. Yeah, that's not good enough for me. <laughs> In some, it, I have discovered through my studies, it's good enough for some people to just not question it. But mm -hmm. I just, there's an itch. They mm -hmm. like itch in the ear. It's like an itch that just like sure. tells me that like this comes from somewhere. Like, but where? That is interesting because, you know, in the village, like, if people don't have it, they don't stay to grow up and, like, train with the rest of us. They go off in service of the village in other ways. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I've never really thought about, like, why some of us have it and some of us don't. There's lots of ways to serve and and be of service, so it's it's not like it's more important that some people have it. Hmm. So what has your research taught you? Well, that's the thing. I, you know, you can trace back where the magic comes from gods. So if you, if you your faith is strong enough as with most people that's usually where it comes from most humans get it from there um, and then there are races that have been inherently woven into magic uh, for example elves uh, which your lineage probably has some connection to 
um, you know, our Marcos, so Tiefling. Tiefling are very connected to to magic um, through some, you know, decision or, um, you know, variety of different reasons. But mm -hmm, mm -hmm. humans don't always have that. Like, I have no magic in my family. So where did I get this? Where did it come from? How can I do this? Well, if in our journeys I we can do any research that helps, please let me know if there's if there's anything we can do. I would love to help you with your goal. While he's talking, he's like occasionally like batting at like the air around his like shoulder and neck. Um like not like more like like a bug is there bothering him. He's he's trying to be very subtle about it, but um, you've been around him long enough that you know that that's like there's like something mm -hmm. there that he doesn't really he like talks about but doesn't talk about. Sure. Hmm. Um, Mike, can I make? like a perception check or an insight check to try and figure out what it is like that's is the doctor being honest is the um, doctor telling me everything yeah we can roll an insight if you like Seventeen. Seventeen. um Doctor, are you trying to be elusive in any way? He's not being any more elusive than he has been. Um, like, he, he doesn't seem to be lying. Um, but, of course... He genuinely always... believes what he's saying? Yeah, he genuinely believes this. Um, but you've noticed some weird things about him that maybe, you know... There's always There's always more to a person than... Yeah. But they always come up with this. Interesting. Interesting. Now, Zanel, um, you do find some. Uh, I'm trying to think now. Where would the what would swamp herbs be? Saint John's Wort, probably. Um, possibly some. I even have a magazine for this. Dragon magazine. A dragon magazine from way, way, way back. Way back. Way back. Let's see. Adder's tongue. As in from the bard. He wasn't actually talking about an actual adder's tongue. He was talking about her. Um, Henbane. Marshmallow. Ooh. <laughs> Marshmallows. Def definitely <laughs> some Just moss. start plucking marshmallows off. Some, some what? Sphagnum moss, the, the dry moss in the trees. And uh, yeah, you can you can definitely fill a herb pouch. Definitely with all will. Kinds of uh, decent things. Uh, Delphia, are you looking for anything? Looking out for anything? Uh, do I spot that moss? I, I rolled the yeah, twelve for sure. Yeah, you'll see me collecting like it on the way. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. okay. Two of you can go on so a merry hunt. Yeah, I would collect the some of the moss for for kindling because it's and any sort of dry wood that I can find because I know we're going to settle down eventually. So Meaning any of that enough. is what I yeah. So I collect a good handful, you know, like big wad of it and cram it in the backpack. Cool, cool. And otherwise, I'm just keeping an ear out for any sloshy sounds that are approaching or anything like that. Anything and Malik, about... you looking for anything? I am not. You're looking at your feet? Mm -hmm. It's neat how the water splashes <laughs> around your feet. It's neat how that leech is trying to attach itself to your scale. That's not having anything. You guys, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that. Um, no one rolled a 20, hey? Just checking. Uh... I, know, I know no one. 
just being facetious. Um, <laughs> I do, I do oh, have a question yeah. though for Shoot. the hit for the hit dice roll. Does that yep. do you include your con modifier? You do on the healing. Okay, cool. Oh, I was unaware of that. Okay. Sure you do. Uh, sure you do. In that case, when you go to me. take when you go to click the short rest button it shows you your hit dice and how much you can roll and what the plus is. Oh, I didn't even Perfect. notice the short rest button. I just did it. All I saw was, the, was the number of dice. Cool. I need to open that window. I need to open that now. D&D Beyond is awesome. <laughs> it is a lifesaver. Yeah. yeah, it is. We should plug it more so that they'll give us a free membership. Hit. It's D and D. Ooh, I also D &D. need DVDs. I know that's like a generation back. <laughs> it's blue right now. I remember DVDs. Don't listen to those jokers that are like, "Oh, go with HD DVD." Yeah, it's dead. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> I have these large discs <laughs> that play and have store five movies on them. <laughs> Um, so the rest of the day, as as uh, later afternoon, the, the the sun ceases to be that that warm heat oppressive of the day. Um, the evening insects come out, uh, and there's always lots of them in the swamp. Um, so the the droning of the dragonflies gives uh, gives itself away to the uh, buzzing of mosquitoes. Generally, uh, not a great uh, experience sleeping in the swamp sort of thing. So I'm imagining you're probably going to look for high ground of some kind. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anybody yeah. taking watches? Everybody just going to go to sleep? Marcos will take a watch. Yeah, I'll take a watch too. You guys want to just all go to sleep at the same time? Yeah, I'll take the final watch. Yeah. I think we should all go to sleep at the same time. Like, I mean, I, I, I really disagree. Could happen. Yeah. In the middle of a swamp. He would never do it to us. He doesn't know what a watch is. He's just been sleeping through the night. Um, <laughs> nobody's woken him up for any reason. So, yeah. I think that the, at the very least, the two people who can see in the dark should pull a watch. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll pull a watch. All right. I'll sleep. Fine. I don't, I don't I'll take first right. watch. No. Whoever's on first watch, uh, roll me 20. Perception roll. Okay. I got this. I got this, Don't guys. Screw it up. Don't worry. Eighteen. No oh, there we go. Ooh. Ooh. Eighteen. You, your your watch passes. Um, you guys have some torches, so there is some light. Uh, casts some really neat shadows. Uh, you hear the occasional, you know, uh, sound that is different from the usual frog chorus and and you know the occasional mosquito that buzzes by your ear um but nothing nothing startling nothing uh, nothing comes near enough to to make itself a, a hazard okay uh at the end of my watch i go over to delphia tap her on the shoulder Hey. Hi. Your turn. Thanks. <sighs> and Delphia stands up and she uh, walks slowly around the perimeter. And it's a bit of a smaller perimeter and it's a bit more little jumpies right. from dry spot to dry spot. And it's 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 sort of uncomfortably not a forest anymore. And it's, yeah. It's almost unnerving in a sense where it's like, well, there should, there, there's trees here, so it should feel a bit more comfortable, but it doesn't. It's so the ground sloppy. is way too wet. And there's bodies and stuff. Um, yeah. Give me a perception roll, though. All right. You got this. That's a 13. I'm Ooh. Medi mediocre. I'd say that's above average. And your watch. Uh, so you're used to mosquitoes. You're used to sort of hunkering down into the and, and uh, roughing it. Uh, this isn't too different. 
the ground's just a little bit more damp. Um, but it's an experience. Uh, the, uh, the frog chorus quiets and then loud. Um, and you can hear different kinds of, you're assuming, frogs. Uh, generally, <laughs> nothing, uh, nothing untoward happens. Okay. Oof. All right. Then I circle around to Malik and uh, I don't really know how to, I don't know if touching his shoulder will wake him. So I, I just, I kind of just. <laughs> just give Malik. him a kick. Malik. 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 <laughs> yes. Malik. It's your turn. <laughs> okay. It's your turn. There's nothing really going on, just a lot of frogs. Yeah, I'm going to light a torch from the thing and kind of do a circle walk around. Because I can't see in the dark for some reason, which is weird for Dragon <laughs> One. It's just, it doesn't make any sense. Know. A bit of an oversight. I'll just light a fire around the camp. No. <laughs> It'll be fine. Don't yeah. worry about it. We'll be safe. I mean, it will not be safe. <laughs> That's leader, leader decisions right there. It keeps everything else out. It paints yeah, a giant target through. on our, on I our agree. heads. <laughs> None perception of what say check, because I'm guessing. I'm asleep. Give me a perception check. Perception check, I guess. <laughs> I'm actually really good at those, apparently. Even in her sleep, is, I mean, is like, maybe they won't come and check on us because they'll think that we're undead. That is a dirty 20. Yeah. Dirty 20. Dirty 20 is still a 20. It's good. It's good. It's a good number. Oh. All right. I had a window open. Oh, no. Are those giant frog monsters that you, for some reason, focused on the frogs in the last description? Oh, no. Uh, no. Doesn't matter. Frog monster or not, it'll get them all upside the head. Have we switched maps? And I just haven't noticed. Not yet. It. Okay. Not yet. Did we oh, switch no. maps? No, not yet. Dun, dun, dun. Alec, you. Um, yes, oh, Malik, me. You have you have the fire. Fire is sort of warming. It sort of gives you this this sense of oh, comfort no. of sorts. And you you some you, you practice a little bit here and there. You sort of breathe out your your vapor and see. Um, and the the insects don't generally bother you because your your hide is a little thick. Uh, the frogs you can hear. Um... Okay, I don't like the fact that you keep circling around and saying the word frogs, but. Just... The <laughs> your your maybe it's your 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 pred your predatory ancestry. Maybe it's the fact your 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 reptilian um, dwarven sure. instinct. Okay. It's your dwarven ancestry. <laughs> but you you kind of assess <clears throat> because you were trained to your your dad was quite. Uh, strict about learning you the, the fighting and fighting in close spaces, fighting in open spaces. And you always want to look for uh, ways that you can be snuck up on. Ways oh, that I can I... kill everyone else in the room and then leave. Yeah, or, or that, yes. Um, and you, you're thinking, you know, the, the embankment uh, on this particular rise that you're on is a little steep on this side. If anybody was going to be hiding or trying to sneak up on us, it would be there. So on, on, a, you know, on, a, on a lark, you kind of lean over and you kind of look at something weird and glinty in the water. <laughs> I like it. I think. I don't like that. <laughs> Do you? What do you do with it? Sorry, it's it's glinty. Sort of a little glint sort of thing, but it's hard to see because unless you want to bring your torch around to actually 
get a good look. Yeah. 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 I'm breathing <laughs> torture in. And you see the 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 nictating membrane of a of a the 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 closing the waterproofing eyelid of the crocodile as it oh, sort of okay. does this little close and blink. Okay. And it sort of sees and it sort of sinks under the water and you see it swim away. <sighs> That's fine. Everything's fine here. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just keep going on my watch then. It it doesn't come back, so it wasn't that big of an uh, a crocodile. Maybe you know three feet long tops. Little little critter, but curious. Small. Exactly. You could have totally taken it. <laughs> I mean, there's... Not like that there's going to be any big ones in this area, right? So No! <laughs> so, and your watch, as you, you, the, you see the first uh, pale lights of the, of the sun coming up pre-horizon, and everything starts uh, getting the color back in the, the leaves, the, all the verdant, the, the, the lush green of the, of the, the, the canopy of the trees and the, the greenish hue in the, of the algae in the uh, in the water and sun comes up dawn greets everyone as you all stir from your respective sleeps and make ready for the rest of the trip okay long rest long rest long rest Ooh. yes you can have a long rest uh, I take out I take out the big block of cheese for breakfast we're going to get really stuck up if this keeps <laughs> So you eat the bread, too, to... Oh, okay. That's a filler, you know? And there's, there's, there's meat, too. There's hardtack. Um, I am going to switch the map to Swamp 2. Uh-oh. That's not good. No, that's not fine. Uh-oh. It's just another swamp. I, now I can hear them. <laughs> and you guys are all up in the upper left of the map. And feel free to organize yourselves as you would normally travel. Okay. Uh, I cannot because my computer does not like. Oh, that's fair. Roll 20. I like how we're just surrounding Malik. We are protecting our mascot. I'm going to put another dent in your armor. Look, if you die, Rosenthal becomes the BBEG. We have to keep you alive. Fair. In general, Delphia tends to lag at least 20 feet behind uh, Marcos. <laughs> One of these days, you're going to stop distrusting him. One of these days. It's, it's you. I, I don't know. There's just screaming in my mind when I'm near you. I'm just not cool with it. Well, in general, you I'm, probably stick to the shallows as well. Yes. Because I've had a good night's sleep, I'm not going to say, oh, you hear that screaming when he's near you too. I'm not going to say it out loud. I'm just going to think it in my head. <laughs> wow. But I'm not going to say it up. out loud because I've had a really good night's sleep. The sun is up. And, and there are some birds, there are, are some uh, other forms of wildlife that uh, portray the fact that the sun is becoming this nice golden hue and it's, it's, and, and it's burning away all the shade. i just like to let you know that. So, so, so Mike, <laughs> uh, query. Shoot. Uh, is today or tomorrow the day we should we expected to reach the the cult because there's a thing i want to do the night before we get there 
if you pushed, you could make it there in the, you know, by the end of the day. But if we go steadily, then we'll probably hit there tomorrow morning. Probably in the morning. Okay. Morning, later morning. Gonna keep steady. So as you travel, I'm gonna go around this way, around this earthen island. Are our boots just full it's of water? Gross. And some, yeah. of these, some of these areas crossing between these islands is getting somewhere up to like almost two feet deep in some places. It's quite, uh, it's quite a mire. And your boots are sticking when you try to climb out and they're There's sinking mud in on the mud. our trousers. And... Rosenthal is just casting <laughs> just like just in over like way too many times every time he sees like these big wads of dirt. And just like, nope, 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 and nope. He's, he's like not really paying attention to anything else. Like he just, he knows that the, the dragonborn's in front of him, the dwarven born dragonborn. And yeah, so that's how he is currently like slugging through. Did um, Malik tell any of us about the crocodile? No. Okay. <laughs> It probably didn't even occur to him. See, while you guys are traveling, let's give me some perception checks. This is how I die. Okay. Mine at disadvantage. Six. 24. Wow. Five. Ten. Hey, we did have a good night rest. 16. 16 or 15? 16. Six. Okay. I got nine. Ten. Cool. So, uh, the ranger hunter eyes of Delphia and uh -oh. Izamina's trained, uh, almost a honed re uh, an instinct to to sort of see what's not there. To to kind of it almost translates from your your studies of ascertaining truth, um, and you stare at things long enough, and you can kind of see the patterns, or like like. Uh, and in some ways uh, it works even in the physical realm where you, you're like that's not a log but it's far enough away that it's not it's just sort of like this gently drifting on the surface another crocodile if far enough away I mean if you wanted to like shoot arrows at it you probably could but how big, roughly? Uh, I'm not going to say it's huge. Ten feet, maybe, <laughs> that you can see on the surface? Yeah, yeah I, I take out a couple Atmosphere. arrows and, and try to aim it at, at its area. Yeah, I'm trying to basically make, drive it away? Spook it, yeah, drive it away. Are you trying to actually attack it? Nope, just drive it away. I mean, if an arrow hits, so be it, but... Sploosh, sploosh, sploosh. Are you aiming to miss? Not necessarily. All right. Well, let me make me a jack roll. Uh. Ooh. Well, that's not great. So that's probably for the best, huh? That's like a seven? No. Yeah, that's a seven. Sploosh. Sploosh. Go yeah, away. There's a crocodile arrows. over there. Yeah. There's a crocodile over there. Is it not going anywhere? Yeah, it's it's swimming a little bit farther. It's way over here. To the to the left of the map here. And it's sort of drifting uh, okay. towards the top. Okay. It, it's kind of, you can see a little bit of a, a bit more of a wake behind it as its tail sort of struggles and slaps and rudders it out. You got the message, at least. Yeah. You figure. Okay. Great. But this area that you're coming to is interesting because it's it's darker. Um, the The shore itself seems to sort of meld into the the into the water itself to basically have this. It's almost like a surface skin of mud on the top of the water, and it's burbling, blurp. 
blork, like a, a bubble would like form up blork. Mm. It's not bubbling like a like a magma or anything like that, but it's sort of this weird phenomenon. Is it stinky? Sorry? Is it stinky? Not stinky, no. Okay. There's no sulfur, there's no uh, strange volcanic gases or anything. Uh, it's just sort of a bubbling mud pool. Everyone keep an eye out for crocodiles. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Keep an eye out for Bub crocodiles. Bubbling mud. <laughs> I yeah. don't like this. Okay. Um, who's watching for crocodiles? Uh, probably all of us at this point. Are you watching for crocodiles in the in the burbling mud? Uh, I'm. At, I see burbling mud. I hear watch out for crocodiles, and I'm just not even like specifically for crocodiles, but just so kind. Of, the mud makes me uncomfortable, so I'm just like um. Looking for anything, looking for, okay, something's not right here. Something doesn't feel good. What was your perception? Isa is looking for anything so that um, she can run headlong into it if she needs to. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, everybody give me one more perception check. Be better, be better. Nope, don't Natural like that. Natural 20 over here for a 20. Hey! Natural 20. Come yeah. on, Nice. 16. Natural 2 for a 4. 16. That'll be a 3. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this. Nah. Well, at least we see it. That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> <laughs> Now, it's strange, this is especially those of you that rolled the natural 20, these burbles are getting closer. The what? These little boat, like, <laughs> it's almost like they're sort of forming and sliding along the top and bork, and down they go. I'm going to step up onto the bank. And I'm going to pull the doctor with me. And I'm just going <laughs> to say, um, could you help me get this stain out? Um, yeah. That was bugging the shit out of me, actually. And yeah, he, thank you. <laughs> he got his presentation. Um, yeah, feel free to move yourself. And we're just going to go stand up here on the bank. Cool. Uh, the dock. Coming from? Seeing Isamina, uh, I'm because I'm assuming with sixteen, I can see. Isam I I might not see the bubbles, but I and that they're coming towards us. But I see Isamina. Uh, move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Marcos is going to back up onto the bank, uh, glance at Isamina, and just murmur, "Where?" I hit Malik, and I pointed out to him. We got comfy. It's probably another alligator. Another? Yeah, we just saw one. Back there. Yeah. And as the, the one, the, the, the burble gets closer to you, uh, still quite far away, it's not moving very fast at all. But it is the weirdest looking thing because you swear it's almost like it's got little hands. But it's yeah. this blob of mud. Oh. Good it's just mind. sort of like rolling. It's almost like, and now you're seeing it a little more clearly now that it's actually close enough. It's almost like this little body is sort of just like rolling on top of the mud. With like little hands, little feet. What? But then it sort of like melds into the mud and then it's gone. And then it comes up again. Blar. What the hell is that? Just let's just back away. Let's just back away from Agreed. the mud. 
probably a good idea. Uh, Marcos is keeping his shield and his body between Isamina and the mud things. Delphia is she... circled uh, back up onto land uh, behind a tree ish. Isamina just takes her shield and like knocks Marcos's shield out of the way. And she said, I'm not going to go running after it. It's clearly not dead or not dead. It's clearly alive. Yeah, it's also clearly. <sighs> Look, how long are you going to hold on to that? We're really you... doing this right now, y'all. Both of y'all Ooh. really. Oh, she's she's in. Na- roll initiative because there for <laughs> sure is combat now. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh yeah, who did we just lose? We just lost Steve, you guys. Um, I'm gonna put us into intermission really quick until we get Steve back. Okay. Sound hey, off. Welcome back. Uh, we are having a bit of technical difficulties, so we're actually going to be calling the stream here. Um, are we going to do like a quick roundtable, let everybody know whatever is going on? Mm, absolutely. See if I can hop in the chat and set it up so that I can enter in the codes. So sorry about this, guys. My computer yeah. decided to uh, not play well with, and <laughs> I'm out of focus now. So let's just tack that up to another one of those technical difficulties. Yeah, we should have a, a different system, a different thing going next week, maybe. See if that'll work. Um, so let us start then, uh, close it off. Uh, thanks for viewing. Hopefully you come back next week. There's probably going to be a combat, maybe. Unless they in the party, them, you know. Um, unless they well. become <laughs> friends with the mud people. Who knows? Um, but let us start with uh, Jacqueline. Hi, Jacqueline. She, her. I play Dr. Rosenthal, he, him. Um, you can find me on Twitter at it's gingivitis 7 uh, You can find me here on Twitch at it's Kakelia. Um, I, my internet's really bad at the moment, so I'm not actually streaming at the moment, but as soon as that gets back, uh, once the tourists leave around Labor Day, I think that's when it's gonna get better, um, then, uh, back to streaming with a real schedule. Uh, but until then, you can stop at my Twitter and ask me tons of D&D questions, because I love talking about D&D. <laughs> Or send her amazing pictures of your floofs and pets. Yes, I love them. Yes. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Zev. I play Marco Soseo. Uh, apparently, I'm the, be- I'm the Apparently, I'm the villain. Uh, step aside, Doctor Rosenthal. <laughs> the true evil has arisen. I know. Um, it. You can I find me on Twitter and YouTube at Vukari Gaming. Uh, I should be making. Uh, there should be some videos coming out in the next couple of weeks. Uh, so keep an eye out. Nice. And Sarah. Hi, everybody. I'm Sarah. I play Isamina LaSalle, the much beleaguered and attacked innocent <laughs> cleric who's never done anything. No, I'm just kidding. Obviously, <laughs> Zev and I are friends and uh, we're, we're enjoying this role play opportunity. Um, and Marcus is not the bad guy. Isamina is a very sheltered individual. Yeah, I mean, we all know the truth. We all know the doctor's the real villain. I thought you were going to say sure. Isamina's the bad guy. What? No. I feel like that I makes sense to you, though. Bad guy? I mean, it might be Delphia. No, no. <laughs> no, she seems Put your nice. wagers. 
Put your guesses yeah, in, put the, your, in the chat. Put your wagers Who's in. Who's the real BBEG? It's Mike. Mike. <laughs> it's Mike. He's way too I mean, nice to us. It can't be. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I run everybody else in the world other than six of you at them, so the odds are in my favor. <laughs> but, Who uh, runs the world? It's Mike. Hey. Only on Tuesdays. Tuesdays is Mike. No. Uh, Belger? Hi, I'm Belle Cher. Uh, thanks for joining tonight, everyone. Uh, you can find me on Twitter as Belle Cher and on Twitch as Belle Cher. And tomorrow's my birthday! Yay. Yay. So tomorrow I'm going to be streaming uh, for a lot of the day. So please swing on by my channel and wish me a happy birthday. <laughs> thanks! <laughs> <laughs> Jazz. Uh, jazz, she, her. I play now. she, her. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Zulmain with two E's, and I'm doing absolutely nothing else but this. Steve. Yeah, I'm Steve. I'm Malik Graybeard, both he, him. Uh, I'm doing a lot of shit other than this. So uh, regularly, we would have the Vampire Saturday takeover with the Vancouver by night starting here. Actually, it starts on Martlet Games about an hour before 11 p.m. 11 a.m. Uh, PST on Saturdays, but that's not going to be happening this week. Uh, we are on the break. season break for the next two weeks for uh, Vancouver by night delve into darkness. So we're going to have a Sabbat game over on Martlet Games starting at noon PST. If you want to see some wacky Sabbat shit go check that out and then they're going to raid into the level up game which we are doing still this week uh and then we raid into philly by night which is starting off their season three apparently with a bang uh then we go sunday we go to sarah's D, &D game uh which is vandalin by night which is awesome and people are dying first level whole bunch of whole bunch of wacky shit going on dm pulls no punches in that game <laughs> It would, yeah, yeah. There you go. You're gonna figure it out. Yeah, it, hopefully, not all the characters die when they rush off chasing after goblins. It could happen. And then Tuesday again, come back here and we'll see combat. Hopefully with better computers. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens next week. Oh, cool. Uh, and I am uh, your DM, DM Mike, Mike the DM. Uh, you can catch my pre and post COVID cosplay adventures at, at Canadian Captain America or CDN Captain America on Twitter. You, you can catch me on Tuesdays, uh, leading this bunch of ragtag misfits uh, through an adventure in Greyhawk, would be heroes. Uh, I'm in the Sunday game. Uh, I'm the one that died. Uh, yeah, some uh, Sarah, the other Sarah is in the chat. She already put F in the chat for Velen. <laughs> right, right. You know, died way before his time. First combat, first encounter, level one, <laughs> crit, arrow, and three failed death saves in a row. I didn't even make a single one. Anyway, um, it's terrible. It's just like the the D and D Beyond just hated me. Anyway, so yeah, he, he uh, did. <laughs> Uh, the, as as Steve said, the Delve into Darkness is taking a two week break. We might be doing some uh recording for that for the patreon um more on that as it comes uh, and other than that i think that's it um quick quick two things first one go to the patreon because all the money that we raise there goes to these lovely people all around me i guess down that way because i'm up in the upper right hand left hand corner i don't even know what the fuck's going on anymore uh yeah we it all goes to all the players, uh, I have a chart, yay. And we make sure there's that everybody's math. paid equally. Yeah, there's math. A lot more math than Thacko, it's crazy. <laughs> uh, and uh, my Ko-Fi is still up. I'm almost at the part that I need to get the new computer so I can buy the parts and everything, and slap it all together. Uh, so if you can donate to that, if you can't, help spread the word and we can get these tech issues sorted out because it's really annoying. I had to restart my computer and everything and it was 
taking quite a while. So, yeah, we'll get you there to that. Who are we ready into? Thanks for coming, everyone. Thanks for coming. Uh, we are actually we are rating into I don't know because the doesn't weed and D start now? Weed and D is unable to do so. They also were having tech issues according oh, to their Discord. Everybody's having some tech issues tonight. Um, I blame see. the serpent god. Yeah, I blame somebody. Um, wow. Where, where is all the Dungeons and Dragons today? Did you say we're blaming Sarah? Okay. Well, she's you know she's what? Marcos. <laughs> they raid into us occasionally, so I think we should raid into Level Up TTV and give them a bit of a boost. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to initiate that and say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. See you next week. Yeah. We definitely won't probably end up in a combat, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, well. So we'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be fine. <laughs> uh...